בוקר טוב, שבוע טוב. We're going to learn today on Achot. That was very practical for me last Friday. So we we'll learned all together. It was practical for me, it will be practical for you too. There's Achot of Birkot HaRe'iya. There's all kinds of blessings that Hashem, that the, Hashem showed us in the Torah, that we make bracha. You don't have to be Jewish to say this bracha. It's not bracha of the mitzvot, like tefillin, like tzitzit. You have to be a Jew in order to do it. There's certain brachot, like I've just spoke a few times that there's brachot that, uh, for example, you want to have a drink, you don't have to be Jewish to say Shakon Yavit Varo, you're praising Hashem. And also, brachot ha-re'iyah. Brachot ha-re'iyah is brachot of sights. Okay? Okay? So there's brachot for things that you see. So it says here, and Siman Reish Chavchet Shulchan Aruch two twenty eight. We'll start uh, before that. Siman Reish Chavzayin two two twenty seven. Birkat Azikim the bracha and the zikim. The zikim, zikim is um, shooting stars. If you see shooting star, star you say bracha. Can okay? it says like this? Al zikim and zikim, which are shooting stars. Or some say it's not talking about a shooting star. It could be talking also about I don't know. You call, I forgot you call it in English. It's kochav shavit. It has a tail. A thing that uh, what? Kamet. Yeah. Every few years, like seven years or something, twenty years. Yeah. It has like a tail. You could see it. Oh, so you see, huh? Yeah, it shoots. There. It shoots in the sky. Or whatever you could see it one time. I remember when I was a kid. I saw see it here. Then a few days later, you see it there. Then there. That light it moves along and until it disappears. It falls apart. I think at the end. There's a whole movie about it, right? That it almost hit the land. A whole movie like that. It's a different story, right? Yeah. We saw it. So if you see it, you say a bracha. Okay. And also, if you feel an earthquake, you hear there was recently in Yerushalayim an earthquake a few couple of weeks ago. If you feel, felt it, you say a bracha. It's a bracha, you say, we'll see. Oh, yeah. yeah. And also, on the brakim, brakim is what? Is a lightning. When there's lightning, you say a bracha also, once a day. And Ramim also, thunder. You heard the thunder, you did not see the lightning, you just heard the thunder. Or you didn't see that, it doesn't make a difference. And the thunder, you have a different bracha you make. And if you live in Florida, and there's crazy winds over there, there's a now in this season. Over, uh, I saw in Allah what's considered crazy winds. When the, the, after the, the speed that, that the, which, after it's, it's when it's called the hurricane already, that's when you can make a bracha already. The special bracha when you see the hurricane. My cousin, my cousins in Florida, he told me that, uh, that he remembers that once they were in the eye of the, of the storm, and he saw the storm from all directions. Wow. Unbelievable. And, and where they were, there was nothing. Just sunny, blue sky. Yes, there's a bracha when you see the, this. And all of this, he says, there's two brachot to say. The main bracha to say is, Baruch atah Hashem, Elokein Mechoram, Oseh Maaseh Bereshit. He has done the Maaseh Bereshit, the first doings of the world. Maaseh Bereshit. Oseh Maaseh Bereshit. That's the bracha that you say in all of this. And thunder, we say a different bracha. We say, Shekocho Ugvurato Male Olam, that his power and his might fill all the worlds. Okay. It's also wonderful. From the what? One per day. So you say once, and the next day you say again. Oh, you're from Mexico, right? You know this, it happens like that. <laughs> I was in Costa Rica. Yeah. 
Right, so if it's something that it's unexpected, like uh, it went away completely, the, s- the sky was shining, blue, beautiful afterwards, and then pitom, whoop, it all came back again and again, so they say another bracha even if it's the same day. That's even, though it's even though it's the same day, if it complete, if it's the whole day it's stormy and it's the whole day lightning and thunder, you don't say one. It's only once during the day. Day means till the next day, the whole day and the whole night. Only the next day you'll say again. Okay. Because if it's in the morning and also it's in the night, it's it's already the other day. Right, yeah, but uh, only the next day. Day, morning, next morning. It's not like usually that it's at night, it's a different day. No, not a lucky day. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, because it's recorded, so we'll do the questions uh, afterwards. So, um. right. What's considered seeing the lightning? You don't have, you don't have to actually see the electricity line. It's enough that you're sitting in the house and you see there was a lightning. You realize the house lit up in lightning. You could already say the bracha. Ready by then. Okay. Right. If a person is in a place where you cannot make the bracha, he's in the bathroom. How do you do? And there was a lightning there. Of course, he cannot say it, but and you can't say it when you leave the bathroom, because you have to say the bracha within two to three seconds, the most after it happens or during it happens. If it's, it's over, it's over. You wait till the next time there is, and then you say the bracha. So that has to be right next to the bracha, not right next to when it happened. The fair mode. That was one halacha regarding those type of things. But now we're going to learn the second halacha. There's a bracha. It says like this in the Shukhan Aruch. It's brought down from the Gemara and Barachot. The Gemara Barachot says like this. Al yamim unarot an seas and rivers. Harim uvarot. High mountains and not such high mountains. Umit barot. And deserts. You say a bracha. Or say ma'aseh barashit. Just like we said, you say over the lightning. Okay, we'll see soon details. And on the big sea, and this, and the Shukhan Aruch says, It's the Mediterranean, that's what he says. We'll see in a second. He says a different Macha. That he made the big sea. And the Shukhan Aruch says, we're talking about which sea? The Mediterranean Sea. But... Many of the Achonim, after the Shulchan Aruch, they say, no, Mapito, it's impossible that we're talking about that's the big sea. It's true that the Torah calls the Mediterranean the big sea, because of the importance that it's next to Eretz Israel. But most of the Poskim say, and the Rosh said, many, many years ago, a lot before the Shulchan Aruch, they asked him what to do, which bracha to make, and he said that only on seas on oceans that are the ocean itself surrounds land and which is not surrounded by land rather it's it itself surrounds land the Atlantic Ocean right the Pacific Ocean big oceans and then you would make the Baha he created the big sea but if you see small seas you see the Mediterranean you see in Chicago that big uh, lake over there you see the Kinneret right you see seas. There's also called seas. You see the Black Sea, seas which are surrounded by land. You say, Ose Maase Bereshit. That's what we pass in Alacha today. I saw in many Sarim, that's what the Alacha is. That when you see the sea which is surrounded by land, the Bracha that you make is Ose Maase Bereshit. But you have to remember that you say that Bracha only once every 30 days. Meaning, if you haven't seen the sea, you haven't saw the sea haven't seen the sea in 30 days, or the ocean in 30 days, then you make that bracha. But if you saw it today, you made a bracha, and next week you went again to the, to, you saw the sea again, you don't make a bracha again. And if you see it constantly, you don't make a bracha again. Only once you saw it 
Then you say the bracha, and then you have 30 days. So, bracha Hashem, on Friday I went to the beach, and uh, we saw the sea. I haven't seen the sea in a long time. Said, many people sit on the bus, they haven't seen the sea in a long time. That's why I learned the halacha. I was learning all the details and everything. I wanted to know practically what to do. Tell my children that we're doing the halacha. Okay. Right. Okay. Now, al kol anearot not al kol anearot mevarech, ela arba anearot dichtiv bekira kmo Not on every river you make a bracha or semas of Rashid, only on rivers which are big, like the Chideke, like the Prat, big rivers, and that you know they were not changed by humans. This is how they were for many years. So for always, since ever you remember, remember that it's a record that this is how the sea is. And the, the, like if you go to Panama and you see the thing that they made there to cross the... Uh, from one to go to... It's not a bridge, it's a, a canal. You don't make it because it's man made. If you go to the Suez, today they made a new canal. Now there's two canals there. Right? It's man made. You do not make a bracha on that. But if you go to a place where there's big rivers which are, which are not man made, rather they're made by Kadesh Baruch Hu, and they're big rivers, like the Chidek, like the Prat, you say also, it's the same Allah of 30 days, you see the bracha, Mose, Mase, Bereshit, or also, if you see big mountains, what's considered big mountains? Hermon is a big, the Alps is definitely, Hermon is a big mountain. It's big, but it's a relative big, because it's the highest in the area, but it's, uh, whoever's been to the, the Andes, you saw what big mountains are. I saw the second the biggest mountain in the world. It's a big, big mountain. I don't remember what it's called. It's in Peru. We flew over it. I didn't know that there's a bracha to make. I didn't make a bracha, but I would have made. Flew right next to it. It's unbelievable. 6,000 meters up and down there. It's, <laughs> it's huge. So you see mountains which are considered big, or a Mont, Mont what's it called there in uh, Italy, France? Is it Mont Blanche? Yeah, that's also a very, it's the highest in all the Alps, no? It's a very high mountain. It's considered important. It's considered an important mountain. You see it. It's also, it's big. I saw it. Or if you fly over the Alps, you see they're, they're, they're huge. You can see it when you fly over. You fly over Europe, you see it. So you can make a bracha. Yeah. You see a bracha? Again, I say a bracha. Hal Sinai? If you know where it is. And by, yeah, but it's not a very high mountain, I must tell you. Can okay. It says you're not on every mountain you make the bracha. Only things which are weird or different. Or in, in South America, there's a place... Uh, Called Turo, Turo de Turo, the Turos, huge. That they're not man made. They know that they're not, no man can make such a thing. Huge pillars, like huge. You can make bracha, it's like a mountain. Sema Savashit is something interesting. Okay.